This week, Greg Clark has a special Once for Wallabies with an American, Irish and Aussie feel. I'm at St Ignatius College Riverview in Sydney. The school has produced 15 Wallabies, state, super rugby and Australian sevens reps as well. And some old boys have even played for other countries like USA hooker Tom Cooligan. Not managed to track Tom down with his Wallaby uncle John Cooligan. And how about this? John's dad, Tom's granddad, Teddy, actually played for Ireland. Gents, nice to see you at your old stamping ground, Riverview. You must have some fond memories from here. Welcome, Clarkie, to my old school. It's a delight to see you here, but that field behind us there, lots of memories. My final year, I won a premiership, and there's nothing greater than that. And it's 40 plus years, but still got great teammates and friends from that period. Tom, some good memories for you, no doubt, as well. Yeah, well, great to be back here. A lot of fond memories. We, uh, we won the premiership in 2006. Uh, had, had a lot of good cattle that year. Mitch Inman, Johnny Grant played Australian Sevens. So yeah, look, it was a great experience. We had a great bunch of boys there. John, 28 games for the Waratahs, four tests for the Wallabies, making your debut in 1982 against the All Blacks. Do you remember it well? Clarkie, you never forget your first test. The sort of butterflies in the stomach, you're running out onto the field, it's the All Blacks, the ultimate test. I was lucky, I was picked to play for Australia, it's the ultimate joy. To play against the All Blacks, the French, it's just a thrill. And now, 40 years later, it's just still a wonderful memory. Kicks it in to Hariyama. Nate gets it charged down by Kulika. Tommy picks it up, and look he goes. Tom, you play hooker for Sydney University and you have eight caps for the USA Eagles, debuting in 2014 against Uruguay. How did that come about? Uh, well, Dad was working at the Cleveland Clinic um, and I was fortunate enough to be born there. Uh, you know, it was something that I always considered was going back and, and playing for the Eagles. I watched them play in the 2003 World Cup. It was something that I always had on my radar and, and when the opportunity came up to move to, to New York and play at the Athletic Club, it was just an opportunity that was too good to turn down. You played against the All Blacks in Chicago last year. Has that been the highlight so far? Oh, look, you know, playing against the All Blacks, growing up, watching them play, um, yeah, definitely it was a fantastic experience at Soldier Field in front of 65,000 people. Um, there's nothing quite like facing the Harker. It's a memory I'll never forget. But for us, um, playing Canada and beating Canada in Sacramento um, in, in July was a fantastic experience. And to come home, you know, with, with the bacon was fantastic. And guys, you both faced the Harker as well. Different eras. Very different, Clarkie. In my day, it was a ceremonial occasion. It was a <laughs> challenge to the players. I, I, I think it's still, it's still a challenge, but I wouldn't say it's ceremonial anymore. Um, the, the Kiwis take it very seriously. Liam Messam, Stone Williams, um, the look on their faces as they're staring you down, there's nothing quite like it. It's certainly an image that I'm not going to forget anytime soon. For some reason, I just kept staring at Stone Williams and I was sort of looking where the nearest exit is to this stadium, to be honest. <laughs> Now, we all know where you got your rugby ability from because, John, your dad, Tom, your granddad, Teddy, played for Leinster after World War II, and he played for Ireland against Wales in 1946. You both must be very proud of your family's rugby achievements. Three generations playing internationals. Ah, oh, he was a wonderful supporter, and he encouraged me all the way. Uh, he helped, was able to help me with my studies. He got me through. Oh, I think it's a really important part of... Uh of your life is your history and your lineage. And uh, it's a shame that my grandpa never actually got to see me to play a game of rugby, but it's something that I definitely think about every single time I take the field. John, you're an orthodontist by profession and you're also president of the Australian Rugby Union. Are there enough hours in the day for you? Ah, oh, Clark, yes, delight to be president. To have been invited by my peers to lead the Australian Rugby Union is, is an honour. And I'm just so chuffed and proud to do the job. Well, it's been great to catch up, and I don't think anyone can complain that the Cooligans haven't done their bit for rugby on and off the field. Good luck in the future endeavours, and go the Wallabies and the Eagles. Hicks. <laughs> no, Wallabies only, Clarkie. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. <laughs>